root 12 plus 8 root 18. All right. Now, again, in the denominator, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, square the first term. So 3 squared is 9. Root 2 squared is 2. That gives me an 18. Second term, 2 squared is 4. Root 3 squared is just a 3, so this will be minus 12. I now have 6 root 6 minus 4 root 9 is just a 12. Minus 12. I'll change this to be 4 times 3, and then we'll simplify that. Plus 8, and this will be a 9 times 2, all over 6. All right, 6 root 6. These ones are kind of lengthy, folks, but you got to hang in there. Uh, that was a 4 times 3, so the 4 is a 2. That gives you 24 root 3. This is a very ugly 4. But. Uh, plus 24 root 2, all over 6. Check here to see, does 6 go into, uh, or is there a number that goes into all these terms? Yeah, again, we have 6 goes into all of these. Not always going to happen, um, but it does here. So we can, oops, I should have highlighted this bottom one too. Therefore, we can divide. So, oh, x, 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 x. 6 goes into all those. We have root 6 minus 2 minus 4 root 3 plus 4 root 2 as your final answer. All right, so rationalizing it on there, something new that you uh, learned about today. Uh, when you have the denominator, always multiply it by, when you have two terms, always multiply it by whatever its different square will be. We have just a single term. Um, let's see, one like so right here, the root 18. Simplify it if you can, and then just multiply by whatever you have right there.